Welcome to the Indie Music Room, a conversation with independent artists about writing, recording, performing, and promoting their original music. And now here's your host, Heather Kelly. Hey everybody, it's yours truly, Heather Kelly. Here we are, um, recording a little bit late uh, this month. I want to thank both Chad and Catherine, who we have with us today, for being patient while I got over the COVID bug, third time again. But thank you guys for being so accommodating. Absolutely. And why don't you... I know these guys personally. I know Chad and I've had Catherine do some work for me on a release of my own. So I know these guys. But why don't you tell everybody all about you guys, what you do. Chad kind of Coon Rapids area. Uh, Catherine, I'm not sure. But let's let's tell everybody what you're all about. Yeah, Catherine, you, you start. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. Um, yeah, I, I mean... I'm based in, in Creston, Iowa, which is Southwest Iowa, a uh, pretty small town. Um, but I mean, we have a lot of those in Iowa. So saying you're from a small town is kind of silly. Um, but I'm originally from Wisconsin. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, you want to know like about me individually or of just about I do. us? Yeah. No, okay. about okay. you and then how, how maybe you led okay. up to meeting Chad. Sure. Um, yeah, I'm a classically trained musician. So both my parents are retired high school choir directors and like my mom's an opera singer my dad played viola growing up and also played jazz guitar and um i have some family members that played in the bluegrass vein too and um so i had a lot of influences growing up but but uh decided to do classical in in college so i did um my undergrad and master's degrees in classical viola and uh, was really in love with piano too. I almost double majored in that, but decided I wouldn't survive if I did that. So, um, uh, and then I toured after I finished my degrees, I toured with a group called Barrage, uh, which is kind of like a Celtic women kind of group, um, singing, dancing, and playing. I toured internationally with them for a couple of years and then moved to Iowa and was like, okay, now what? Uh, now what? <laughs> and yeah, yeah. And was mostly teaching for a couple years and then walked into a blues jam and realized I wanted to get away from music on the page from then on. So nice. um, yeah, and, and I started playing with more songwriter type people um, not too long before I crossed paths more so with Chad. We, he and I, I think, knew who each other was, but we hadn't really, you know, spoke into each other much we just kind of been um uh just admiring what each other was doing and he started doing some art videos and asked me to to record a little bit of music for one of his his painting videos and so i did that and with him and thought that was really a cool collaboration and um then i was like hey you want to do a show yeah. together and <laughs> and uh thankfully he said yes and so our our actual playing together kind of you know came to life at uh, up in Ames at the Goldfinch Room, so um, yeah I don't know he's got a whole whole life story to him too so you know, I have not I don't think I've met you in person yet but um, I will say I've seen Chad with a number of different combinations of artists but this has been my favorite to date uh, yeah, there's something thanks. especially when you do the back of harmonies your voices the tonality of them really blend nicely. Thank you. The story, your uh, the way you play violin is like uh, only adding to the story. It's not. I mean, it just blends. It blends really nice. So, bravo to you both for finding each other. That's hard thing to do. It's a really hard thing to do. Really, Chad, how'd you meet this cool cat? Yeah, same. <laughs> sure. Well, that's exactly how how it happened for me. Is I I had heard. Uh, this reputation um, preceded her of all the talent and the men's talent she was. And I saw who she was playing with some of the great, you know, like great artists. And, yeah. and, and I thought, I want, I want fiddle. <laughs> I want harmonies. And uh, I, I've been playing solo, you know, for a few years there. I, I played with my a band before that, the Redemptions, which yeah. was awesome. And I still love those guys, but everyone was kind of fragmented and doing their own things. And, and I, I really found, that I, I wanted to go towards an acoustic route so i was i've, I've been i was in uh, lamoni for a while there i lived in my hometown of lamoni which is southern iowa and she was in creston which is in southern iowa i thought oh that's pretty close we could maybe rehearse even though we don't we didn't rehearse much at all <laughs> but we found, started doing more work together so um now i'm in jefferson iowa which is okay. where the studio here i just uh, moved here last year at this time yeah. um 
and have a art studio and um i'm loving being in this area again but um which is uh, congratulations yeah. by the way name your art studio because what yeah. you have done to that place is spectacular and um, if people don't you. know about it they need to know about it so make sure you plug that here too that thank crazy you. art studio is amazing <laughs> thank you heather it's it's the elliott art studio it's right downtown jefferson iowa right by the jefferson gardens here in and um i'm hosting some list listening room concerts here. I've got a few on the calendar this spring and summer. Um, but really, it's just for me to be able to record demo work, but also work on my artwork and painting and um, sculpture. And Uber so. talent. I'm talking to Uber talent right here. It blows my mind. <laughs> hey, there's Thank people you. like you guys that come on the stage and just make it look effortlessly. And then there's people like me that have to work six weeks on one part. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> this no. is why we come to see you. <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Um, I've got a couple of songs today we're going to talk about. Um, the first one is called Medicine Creek. Why don't you tell me a little bit about, since there's two of you, your songwriting, how you, and being a little bit with, you know, some distance in between you, if you're share, file sharing or how you guys give your ideas back and forth. And let's hear about that. Yeah, that this one, the Medicine Creek one is kind of a perfect example of how we are always in the flow. And, and I, that's one of the best parts of working with Catherine is I feel like we connect like synergy is just crazy and we're able to kind of read each other thoughts as we're writing a song so it's very fast process this one was so fast we were on our way to a show in northern missouri and we crossed the medicine creek and we're like oh that's a cool name we should maybe write a song and as we were doing a sound check we just started hearing this song and we wrote this song at sound check and then we played it that night and it was like that's how it happens frequently with Catherine and I. It's this great synergy. And I, I like to follow your guys' Facebook page because you are like all over. Sometimes you'll be in a different state one day and then you'll be over here. And it's like, you guys are crazy. You are on the go. <laughs> yeah, we're both pretty uh, wanderlust, you know, we, <laughs> I and, love and it. Thank, thankfully so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. <laughs> so with this Medicine Creek, tell me kind of where that, you know, you were saying a little bit about it, but tell me, like, um, do you write the original chords or does she have a because I know you do your own thing, too, Catherine. I, I mean, uh, uber talented. Mm -hmm. But so Medicine Creek, you guys are driving and then lyrically. I mean, how do you do this thing? Yeah, this one started just me uh, playing this progression and coming up with the idea of, oh, Medicine Creek, where you been? It's more of like, hey, this friend is taking me home. This river is this thing taking me home. And I thought that was a cool symbol. And then she was like breaking down or setting up gear and started in on the second verse. And it was just it was like wildflower blue in the sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but oftentimes I'm driving and she's got a mandolin writing shotgun writing yeah. a song and I'm just kind of giving ideas for verses and um, it's oh, like I funny. said it just goes back and forth and yeah <laughs> it's it's serendipity almost that you guys um it's almost soulful enough for you guys it's almost maybe did you maybe you know each other in another lifetime I don't know but it just feels like that sometimes so it does yeah <laughs> we I think well, we, we both feel that yes yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely with that said everybody let's go ahead and take a listen to Medicine Creek and we'll be right back with you after that um we'll catch up more about their touring schedule and about where you can find them so you can follow these crazy cool cats all right here we go with Medicine Creek <laughs> Medicine Creek, where you been? All my life I've been waiting on a friend to take me home, to take me home, to take me home, to take me home.
sun on the Missouri hill I'm waiting on the evening when everything is still so I can roam around and not be seen so I can roam around and not be seen well I may not be the one that you want be the one that you And that was Medicine Creek. You guys, amazing song. Um, I love all three of these. They are now on my rotate. Now, these haven't been released yet, have they? No, those are just the demos so far, so, right? Oh. Is that right, Catherine? Yeah, yeah, those are demos. We yeah. we uh, we just got into the studio and did two full days um, at the beginning of, of this month okay. um, of January. So, yeah. Bravo, bravo. This mm -hmm. is so good. So where's – let's talk about your – like I mentioned earlier, your touring schedule, you're all over the place. Who are you? Who's booking it? Because I know your wife for a while, Chad, was kind of like involved in booking that. But are you doing that now, Catherine? Oh, she is too. And Catherine is. And yeah, whatever comes our way. <laughs> I was going to say you're busy a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we're looking for like the next level booking agent right now. So. Are you? Isn't it? <laughs> Let me think on that. You know, here's the thing is you guys, um, what I consider your mood your music is to be kind of a uh, folk rock Americana, maybe a little bit in that, that yeah. genre. And yep. that is something that is timeless. You know, it, it's a timeless music because, you know, I was more of a pop person and that changes. I can't stand to listen to the radio nowadays because nothing is about storytelling anymore. And that's exactly what you guys do because people can relate to your music, you know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But t tell me about your recording process. Do you do that through home or do you go somewhere or how do you do that? <laughs> yeah. Um, so we are actually recording our, our album at the same studio that we recorded my album at. Okay. So it's a golden bear studios in Des Moines. And it's, it's great because Brian Vanderpool is, is yeah. the, the guy that kind of runs the show there. And he's a little bit of like an evil genius in the studio. <laughs> like he's, great. Yeah, he uh, he's a utility player too, so he plays a lot of different instruments, and and I think because of that, um, it really allows for him to to ha have really great and 
and clear ideas about how to bring your songs to life in a way that serves the music, mm -hmm. you know, and doesn't take away from things. So I think we we're having a really good time with him and and layering things, but not layering so much that we feel like the song is lost, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's still very much Chad and I forward, but but it's been fun. Like Chad and I actually, um, when we were driving home from Missouri the other day, we were listening through all the recordings that we had done in the studio because we're going back at the end of this month again to keep doing some more stuff with it and. And I was just taking notes and we were talking through it and seeing, all right, what do we think is missing in this song? What, mm -hmm. what layer, or do we want a third harmony or whatever, you know? And mm -hmm. so it, we both, you know, it's, it's a pretty ego aside thing with both of us with songwriting and just with pretty much any process mm -hmm. I think that we do together. So. And you mm -hmm. can tell that because of the professionalism um, shows you and Chad have, weary ramblers but you also have your solo career and i think that's important too um you know chad knows that we put out four full-length albums as a band and then yeah. i did about 20 singles after that just as heather kelly more who i was because when you get so many people invested especially a five piece you know it gets to be a lot of opinions yeah. but i mean <laughs> you guys are um res re respectful to one another you you don't step on each other's toes you help each other i just think it's a it's all around a good thing and the beauty of it is if you use chat on your music you already know kind of his playing and styles that would fit what you do because you're very similar that way right. mm -hmm. absolutely tell me about this sweet hazel green i thought it was about me because i have hazel green eyes but <laughs> <laughs> anyway tell us about that song <laughs> Um, well, Sweet Hazel Green, um, part of that is from us uh, road tripping through Wisconsin. Um, and that, yeah, Hazel Green is is a sign that you would see uh, pretty often. Um, oh, is it? Traveling through. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, Chad, am I right? Was that another one that we, we did we write that in your, your um, in the Living Arts Studio? Yes. Was that? Yeah. It, that's right. Yeah. So yeah. not at his art studio, but a dance studio that he would host uh, listening uh, concerts and and he and I were actually I think just recording some videos just for like promoting us yeah. mm -hmm. and then after that we wrote like three songs yeah okay, so. wow okay yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you and, so, that, so you guys are going to go back into the recording studio here soon are you going to actually release a, a project uh, nowadays everybody does things it's uh just to you know um digital distribution are you guys going to put out a cd a hard copy and yeah we'll okay. officially have that and hopefully good, good. you know that's becoming a lost art cds you know now every but again if i could have afforded to do vinyl i think vinyl school yeah you know yeah. it's it's it depends on what you can afford when you're a musician that there's always a budget and a touring expense and gas and everything else so i understand that i look forward to that who will be doing your artwork i mean i know you're like famous artist who will you have uh, an idea about that well catherine has an idea that i'll be doing it and i have <laughs> <laughs> that girl. i probably will i i i'm I don't see it yet, but I'm going to try yeah. my best. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, sweet. Hazel Green. Back to that anyways. I'm all over the place because I'm excited about this song. So it's in, in Wisconsin. It's You see this all over, you say. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I think it's also like I was I think I started with this riff on the guitar, yeah. but we were kind of looking to do some upbeat songs that we co-wrote together because a lot of our songs, we tend to lean into the sadder kind of waltzy kind of stuff. And we're like, let's do an upbeat one. And I knew with a fiddle, I mean, we should do some kind of yeah. porch stomp bluegrassy kind of thing and so we started with this riff and and we just started going in on this this love story uh you know a guy pining for a girl with hazel eyes so yeah, i love it <laughs> all right you guys with that said everybody let's take a listen to sweet hazel eyes sweet hazel green excuse me <laughs> we'll be right back with you in just a moment <laughs> oh you gotta love technology <laughs> Every time I see a certain color 
I think of my sweet hazel green Lying in the breeze with her that summer Like two robins in love we would sing And sometimes I'll go to the valley Sometimes I'll sing her a song And pray a sweet voice will come and join me and like two robins in love would sing along Two robins have flown with the winter They'll bring a song in the spring I'll be holding on to the memory Of that summer with my sweet hazel green That was Sweet Hazel Green. I uh, We almost lost me there on the outro there of that song, but I got so excited to hear it. <laughs> All right, you guys, another great song. So why don't you tell me a little bit about what you have over the next month? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, let, let me let me think. This. I almost feel like I should like look at our website. That is well, part of it. You. Is a uh, yeah that that um, WearyRamblers.com is is I'm I'm pretty good about um, being diligent about posting things up on there. Um, but like we have some some house concerts. You know that some of them are through a, a service called Home Diddy, and some of them are just you know private events that people set up. Okay. Um, and. We've got some other podcast interviews. We are playing, I know, at the, like the Camelot Theater, which is going to be cool. Oh, yeah. Um, and yeah, that'll be fun. Um, let's see. We have some, a cool looking show that's for um, the Lincoln Association for Traditional Arts, which is going to be awesome in Nebraska. Yeah. Um, and I know we have a little like mini tour set up um, in Illinois um, through, and then going back into north northeast Iowa um that's i think at the end of march into the beginning of april so okay. there's a lot going on shows yeah. are constantly being booked we've got some festivals we're doing this, I this see year it. and going to scotland so oh that's my gosh cool. tell me about that what's scotland yeah it's ahead, the scotland folk tours um they wow. ask artists to come and um, host them and i've known about this for years but they finally reached out to me uh, this summer and say hey would you want to be one of the hosts so you know i was like absolutely they they were like yeah we'll put it under your name so it is 
like weary ramblers will be rambling through Scotland, but it's under oh, my name right that now. That is so cool. Yeah, um, yeah, that'll be in July, early July. So, okay. oh my gosh, you guys, fantabulous! That yeah, is. We're trying to fill the bus though, so if anybody wants to join, come. Yeah. come. <laughs> That's <We're>, right. <laughs> we need hey, more. You people. could make that a whole. Oh, that could be a whole GoFundMe fun trip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? But y'all, <laughs> you got it. You guys got to do that. Uh, I will from now on be sharing your schedules and stuff on our website too. But you Thank have you. to keep me posted that that when you guys go, I think you said July, right, to Scotland? Mm -hmm. I want to yeah. see little video clips of, you know, your, oh. where you're traveling. That would be so fun. You guys yeah. should make a whole little video thing of it, I, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah oh we'll gosh. be doing all kinds of stuff there. I, I'm going to set up paint and sound with paint, and maybe oh. she can play fiddle while I paint, Catherine. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> so, Catherine, let me ask you, because I play violin, too. Um, I've lost use of this hand, so I can't oh. really play much anymore, but yeah. I... I have to ask you, devil went down to Georgia. How many <laughs> times a night do you hear? Can you play that? Oh, man. Yes, I know, well, right? Yes, many. It's either that or Orange Blossom Special. Um, yeah, it's those two. And to be honest, I've played in groups. Like, I play with this group every now and then called River City Opry, which is a bunch of, like, um, like the heavy hitters in yeah. central Iowa and those two songs happen in that show. You yeah, know? Of course, and so yeah. I, it's a love hate relationship with it. You're excited that people are excited about the song, but you're also like, ah, I have to play the song again. <laughs> so, I remember Celine Dion said one more time or said one time, if I have to sing Titanic again, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You get to a point where it's like, okay, okay, get over that. But I understand everybody always said to me too. And see, I always, I, I'm not nearly as good as you, but I mean, I played violin and then they say, oh, can you play fiddle? I, I went and toured on the Hank Williams tour one summer in uh, <laughs> junior and played fiddle for them. <laughs> well, it was fun, but it's so out of my league, you know, <laughs> Catherine's got me. Oh, oh, she just oh, kicks no. butt. <laughs> but OK, yes. I want to before we run out of time today, I want to talk one more song and it's called Tall, Tall Virginia. Mm. Tell me about this one. Yeah, Catherine, do you want to start? Yeah, yeah. Tall Virginia Tree. So, um, so we went. Uh, we were en route to a songwriter festival in Boone, North Carolina, and we stopped at the Carter Family Fold, and it was Chad's idea. Which, thank goodness, yeah. he said we should do that. We stopped there, and there's a lot of history there. Um, and uh, Chad can maybe you know elaborate more on that if you want. And he's got a fun little story too if he wants to show that he doesn't have to but but uh but yeah we sat down and there was no one there um there was like a nice breeze going and it just felt like there were songs flying around us everywhere you know wow. and it just felt really inspiring and so i can't remember if we i think did we write three songs or was it two yeah three and this was three the i think yeah mm -hmm. yeah and so this one came kind of from i was looking around at the trees and and I just said, um, they say a branch is only strong as the fruit that it holds. And and he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and so we just that's pretty deep. Let me get my pencil. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> so we just kind of ran with it. And oh, very cool. Um, you are so like yeah. pure. You have this purity about you that's so lovely. No. Um, <laughs> and I don't mean that in a, in a bad way. I just you come across as very genuine um Thanks. Catherine and and I that's what I think that's why when I s hear the music that you and Chad put together it just makes sense because his music has always been um honest in storytelling yeah. you know you can you know where exactly what he was thinking so this to me just works it works I love that thank you thank that you. means a lot <laughs> <laughs> so that and you said it's called tall Virginia tree right Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's yep. take a quick listen to that. And when we get back, I want you to share your website again. We talked about how to get a hold of you. And um, I will make sure to share your your uh, touring schedules, but how everybody else can find your, your music as well. So we'll be right back. Great. <laughs> They say the branch is only strong as the fruit that it holds. So 
love, won't you hold me now? Will you help me to stay strong? There are warning signs around The branches bending down to the ground And I've been too strong For way too long Wildwood flower is a song he used to sing And the comfort that it brings still makes me smile That mountain breeze stirred and changing leaves In that tall Virginia tree standing guard And I've been too strong They say the branch is only strong as the fruit that it holds. So love, won't you hold me now? Will you help me to stay strong? There are warning signs around. The branch is bending down to the ground. And I've been too strong. Tall Virginia Tree. And that was the third and final song we are going to share. Um, if you like those, they've got so many more you need to check out. You guys, why don't you tell everybody where to find you online, how to you know follow you, especially with this trip to Scotland coming up. That's going to be yeah. going to be fun. <laughs> Chad, do you want to talk about the Scotland maybe link and then I can talk about some of the other business stuff? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Scotland Folk Tours is where it's at. And it's okay. it's called the borderland um it's uh wait, border to border is what it's called okay and so it's a good good link there if you just go to scotland folk tours there's a lot of artists on there it'll be my face but uh catherine will be coming with and so okay. we're gonna do that um but yeah wearyramblers.com if you want to talk about yeah that? yeah 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 so our website there's a lot of stuff on there 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 are a lot of videos of of us uh doing house concerts oh, um uh, where where you can see like full-length songs many of them are posted on there yeah. um and we also have instagram facebook you know there you know there are social media pages you can follow um and should somebody want to hire you guys for like a house concert is that yeah a way to get yeah. to you as well yeah yep there there should be because our our email is wearyramblers at gmail.com and so they should be able to even through the contact page on the website they can email that way or just directly to me um but yeah uh, there's also that home ditty um website that i had mentioned which is a yep. really great house concert site that i think is largely um midwestern based but i think there might be some shows that happen outside of the midwest but if they want to check out that site too and become a host on there that works too or just contact us directly so okay. yeah. i think um i don't know if you guys had heard the news about byron's um yeah, yeah. did you see that so i'm i want to just get a quick uh shout out to our Great. fans 
that if we can do anything to help support Byron's and mm. Pomeroy, right? Pomeroy. I always get Palmer and Pomeroy messed up, but um, <laughs> he has been uh, an amazing person that has supported original art and music and talent um, through the years. And, and if you haven't heard, it sounds like they're maybe trying to shut his building down. And if we can do anything to help keep that alive, um, there are links to that that I will also include at the end of this uh, podcast for Byron because he's been instrumental. That's where I think um, I heard about you guys first. Didn't you play there? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 So that's that's exactly uh, your friend. And yeah, I, yes. I always say it's my favorite place to play in all the universe. Everybody right? that plays there because yeah. I mean, you they make you feel so welcome. You know, you get mm -hmm. your free drinks, you get your pizza or whatever. Well, I mean, it's yeah. just a good, good place. And they really mm -hmm. do support. It's a place where people don't go to get drunk. They go to listen. Yes. And, uh, you know, and if you get drunk on the side, whatever. But, yeah. I mean, but no, <laughs> you know, the truth is they really it's a listening room and that where people really appreciate that. And and um, yes, so. We want to save Byron's if we can do that. But with this Thanks. said, you guys have to keep in touch with me and keep me updated about all your shenanigans and where you're going. And and um, as you release new music, please, I, I only I, I've done this five years now, but I used to do one a month, but I'm going to make it two a month. So I've always got openings. If you want to just update the the fans and, and what's going on and any new releases, we'd love to have you here. Awesome. Thank Great. you. Heather. Thank you so much. Any, Heather. You're welcome. <laughs> any last words to you guys in closing? No, just thank you for all the support you've given yeah. us. You know, <laughs> hey, I, you know, um, I started this off because when I started losing, you know, some use of this hand, I, I was like, I love music, I love original artists, and I know the work that goes behind it. It, it people see the tip of the iceberg, man, the everything under the underground work and booking, writing. Uh, gear practicing touring I mean, it, it takes so much and um i appreciate original artists that just keep keep going at it every day like yourselves so congratulations on such a great dynamic duo here in <laughs> central iowa and now uh you know across the state so i'm very excited for you both thank you heather thank you so much right. you guys have a great day and don't forget to hit subscribe on my page on their page and we will be back with you next month thank you take care You've been listening to the Indie Music Room with Heather Kelly. Be sure to listen every Saturday and Sunday right here on FortDodgeRadio.com and subscribe for all our past and upcoming shows. The Indie Music Room is a production of FortDodgeRadio.com.